hi everyone welcome back to my channel i have a unboxing for you guys today so this is a package that i received just now and as i mentioned in my last couple of videos i've ordered this bag three times this is the third time i ordered this bag and it was fi it finally shipped on the third time this is a box here it's a smaller box i know the bag it's a smaller bag but this box is a little small so i'm going to go ahead and open it and as you guys could see i'm out of my brace i went to the doctor yesterday and he said i could the brace at this point is optional so yay um i'm, I'm doing well so i'm recovering nicely so yay I'm, I'm i'm pretty happy so let me go ahead and open this box so we could both take a look at what it looks like um i've been waiting I've been waiting for this for a while. It actually took a whole week to get to me. So I'm thinking it's coming from a store. Um, it might be, you know, judging by the way the box look as well. It's a smaller box. And um, this is my receipt here. So I'm gonna put that over here. Um, so this is what it looks like. It's not, I mean, see, Okay, as you can see, it's slanted. So this box is a little too small for this bag. So they just literally shoved the, the bag across inside the box because the box is not the right size. But let's see what the bag looked like. So I was very excited to get this because, like I said, I ordered it three times. So you know how excited I was to get it. Otherwise, I would just put on the first or the second time it got canceled and this is the bag and the first thing i notice is there's a scratch on the back of it as soon as i took it out of the packaging let me see if i could right here there's a scratch right here um so this bag don't look new doesn't look like a a new bag um I think once I kept on trying to order, it keeps on popping up. I don't know if you guys have seen this bag pop up a few times on the outlet. It's this bag. Okay, I've, I've mentioned it before. This is actually a dinky. This is the dinky and with the signature embossing. I don't know, debossing, embossing. I'm going to say embossing. So this is the, the dinky with the signature embossing on the bag and this don't look like it's a brand new bag it looks like more of a return but let me check it out further so it does have that little scratch there but i could tell it's not like a deep scratch i think i could just rub it out it doesn't look completely brand new looks like it's been returned as you can see you can probably see that better right there um i've been having i have had the worst luck with ordering things lately i think but i wanted this bag so bad that's why i kept on ordering it but if the bag is gonna pop or keep popping up then you're thinking you know it's available but it's not it's probably they probably had a few so I noticed something here oh guys so this in here looks like a key holder of some sort so as you can see this is here I'm pretty sure I could snap it maybe hold my key or something because this is an older style it's an older style bag it's the dinky bag it's a regular size dinky and it does come with the 1941 hang tag and it does say i think it does say 1941 on it let me see i think so say something but i think it's 1941 right there so this is the bag here and it does come with this really really skinny strap here so let's see 
so the thing the thing you, you hook the strap on is on the inside actually it's right here so let's go ahead and hook this on it does come with everything but it's just does it's not really in brand new condition but like i said that's the only scratch i see on it but it's not a big deal it's like just like a little scratch that probably someone did you know it's like a fingernail scratch or something and that's the only thing i see and i paid 118 dollars for this bag i don't see a price tag let me see if i could find a price tag So this is in here. Um, hmm, this is this is actually cool. So they included, and I'm thinking this is actually coming from. Oh, so this is probably the, the 1941 booklet that's included with this bag. So it comes with this little booklet. I did see something with a picture. What did I see with a picture? I saw some picture on something. Yeah, so it, it does come with a little booklet. I did see a picture. I think I lost it. Oh, yeah, the picture is just in the front right here with a hang tag right there. Um, I guess it's just showing you how to hang the hang tag. Well, there's another picture. I've had 1941 bags before, but I've never noticed a little booklet with it, which is this is kind of cute. So comes a little pouch like this. And it comes with the uh, a card with the uh, it's like a th really thick card like you know this is like a piece of cardboard it's thick it's not just like one of those regular cards it's a thick piece of cardboard thingy i don't know this is a, a, a cert certificate to show you that this bag is authentic so it comes here, it comes in the pocket, it came in the pocket here, it does have this uh, thing, and it does have the 1941 bag, which is kind of cool. I haven't had a, uh, a bag with a 1941 dust bag in a long time, so they really had to pull this one from somewhere. It doesn't have a hand, hand tag, uh, oh yeah, it does have a price tag, sorry does have a price tag here so this retails for $295 and I got this for $118 on the outlet and it does pop up every once in a while so I will definitely share this if it pops up because I do see it pop up so I just save it for my my uh, save for later items and I see it pop up every time that's why that's you know how I was able to order this thing three times and I do still see it pop up sometimes so I'm definitely keeping this bag I'm going to use it does have like a from the um, kiss lock here has this this little indentation from the kiss lock um, so I do have my dinky with me still carrying my dinky and I have the phone that I my little prop phone basically so i'm gonna slip it in here if i didn't show you I have a front pocket here and then it has the open compartment and then it has the, the um kiss lock and it has the slip pocket on the back so i'm going to slip this phone to see and the phone does fit in the front part so let's go ahead and close it so you could tell, you could see it closes nicely. And this is probably going to be a bag that I'm going to move right into it. I'm probably just going to use the the leather conditioner and stuff on it. Because I'm not sending this bag back. $118 for a 1941 bag. Nope, I'm not sending it back. So I'm going to go ahead and put what I'm carrying in bag. So I have my card case here. Let me see if I could stand that up. And let me see if I stand it up, if I could close it. Probably can't, because this this uh, this bigger wallet, I'm not carrying much. My keys, 
Let's drop it in there. My car, my key fob. Let me see if I have it. My key fob. Put it next to my, key, my other keys. And then I have a hand sanitizer and I could stick it right here. I think I could stick it right here next to the kiss lock or sort of sort of next to the kiss lock, I guess. And then let's see if I could close it. It kind of messes with the shape a little bit. So let's take the phone out and put the phone in the back. This, this is how we have it, guys. So let's do this. With the phone in the back, it works. I mean, uh, I probably would, I don't know, probably would use it in the back because my phone doesn't stay in the bag for long. Normally just shove it in there if I need to, if I go to the store or something and I need my phone close to me, I probably stick it in the back. I think that's all I have in this bag. Oh yeah, I have my little Vaseline that I take. I could just put it like that. I have this pepper spray that I take with me. And I'm going to see what I could fit in the coin, the kiss lock thingy back here. Probably not much. I probably can use it as a card or well, card case. If I if I don't need that card, I could think I could use the, the, the kiss lock for the cards instead of... The actual card case all right let's see if that works it's a smaller bag and it's not going to fit a lot but i think it's going to fit what i need to take with me and this is how it looks the key is poking pushing up i just shoved it down like that and it works my phone, I'm sorry guys, I think my email popping up on my phone, my uh, watch, so I keep on looking over, see what it is. Um, so this, it, this is what the bag looks like. And I probably use a different strap for it. And did I tell you what color it was in? Um, this is actually in Beechwood. So this is the Dinky in Beechwood. And I don't do love it. And I can't, I really can't believe I end up getting this bag because like I said, I ordered this bag three times on the last time I ordered it, it first, is, it, it said it was back ordered for a long time. And I was like, well, I guess if it gets canceled for the third time, I'm just, I'm just over it. I'm not going to try again. It, even if it pops up again, I'm not going to try. So I ended up after a while, it ended up saying it was shipped, but it took a whole entire week for me to get it because I think it's coming from, I don't know where it's coming from. Let me look, I ripped the the um, the information of the box. Let me see if it tells where it's coming from at all. Um, nope, it doesn't tell me where it's coming from. Um, yeah, no, it doesn't give me any information of where this is actually coming from. Let me rip it out the little thingy. Nope, not at all. No information at all to say where it's coming from. Is this Coach 1E Circle? Oh, yes, guys. I could see where it's coming from. It's actually coming from Canada. It's coming from Ontario. It's coming from Ontario, Canada. So yeah, maybe that's the reason why it took me that long to get here. Um, so I do have the bag and I'll share it because like I said, it does pop up and I do have it in my save for later um, thingy on, on Coach uh, Outlet. And I love the bag. And I'm glad I was able to get it, even though it's um seem like it's not in you know it's it's not brand new pack you know packaged nicely brand new i'm fine with that um i'm gonna condition the bag 
and this little thingy right here i'm sure i could get it out if i keep if i condition it it's already seemed like it's coming out I could hardly see it it's right here but i'm sure if i condition it it would be gone and i've always wanted a dinky but i was never you know because they don't make it many more I was never able to get it because I wasn't about to pay the price that everybody's asking for them on the resale market. So that's the why I never got it. But once I saw it pop up on Coach Outlet, I jump and got it. So let me move my chair. I don't have, um, so let me do this right here. So this is what it looks like. Let me fix it that's what it looks like and i love it it looks pretty nice i like the way it looks i might use a different uh strap with it if i could find a strap that i like better i do have a, quite a few straps here um i'll look look through and see what strap i have that's going to match with it and i'm probably going to leave the hang tag on some of my bags like the emery, I take the, the hang tag off of it, but I think I'm going to use that thingy to hold that shrink tube thing. I might go ahead and buy some on Amazon and use it because I, I like like the look with the with the hang tag on it. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, I really, really appreciate you guys. And I'm so happy that I got the bag and I'm glad um you know I'm, I'm glad that you guys stick around to watch my video and um i really appreciate you guys and i will definitely share this bag if i'm able to if i'm able to share it i will share it and when it pops up you could put it in your save to later less than when it pops up you could definitely grab this bag for 118 dollars if you want it um this is a beautiful bag it's not a huge bag but as you see what it fits and if it's enough for me i don't know if it's big enough for a lot of people but if it if it's what i need and this could just be a bag if you're going on a date night or something and you want a small bag to um and throw your keys and phone and stuff like that in there not a whole bunch of stuff this could definitely be a bag for that purpose and this is another bag to my collection and lately i feel like I'm 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 really interested in the 1941 collection and I feel like I might be moving towards getting more of pieces like that. So okay guys, so definitely if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up guys and I can't wait to see you in the next one and thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you guys. Love you guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.